The city of Jacksonville has had challenges and successes, and the mayor and city council have taken action to deal with the challenges and celebrate our successes. Revaluation and its potential effects are one of the challenges dealt with in a recent advanced budget session by the council. Housing values are also a concern for the council, where the session helped with new information about the current status. This year's budget will be difficult with uncertainties in many areas, but there is a resolve of the mayor and council to improve the quality of life in our community. The city wants to continue providing infrastructure that will allow the economic base of the community and the city to grow. Toward that end, the city has made it easier to use existing water and sewer resources inside the city and has expanded water and sewer to meet anticipated future needs. Helping to make this a great place to live and work is our police and fire services. Both are nationally accredited and our police services has been awarded the status of flagship serving as a model for others. The City Council specifically authorized proactive police work that puts community-oriented police officers in areas where they can potentially stop crimes before they happen. Our new fire station, too, is an example of connecting excellent service to our citizens with the relocation benefiting a wider fire coverage area than before. The $30 million Center for Public Safety will come online this summer and be a major structure in the downtown, along with the county justice complex. It will provide a safe place to work for our fire and police services and adds to the downtown investments the city has already made. The enhancements of lighting, bridge railing, and gardens to the new Buddy Phillips Bridge, paid for by the city, and the increased height have produced a symbol of pride, as well as an improved entrance to the downtown. We're investing heavily in the downtown area because we believe in increasing the economic benefit that can come from this area. New homes continue to be built in the downtown and new businesses are under construction. Without the Riverwalk Crossing and LP Willingham Parks, without the infrastructure provided to improve the area, and without an active role of the city in demolishing dilapidated buildings and building new homes, this would not be taking place. It has spurred much private investment. A significant demonstration is the demolition of the old Fisherman's Wharf. We'll all be watching for something we hope attracts more people to Jacksonville. One place we hope visitors go is the Lejeune Memorial Gardens, where the Beirut Memorial, 9-11 Memorial, Vietnam Veterans Memorial, and soon the home of other memorials and the Museum of the Marine are located. Jacksonville believes in the value of tourism and hospitality. The city continues our legacy of a caring community that remembers, with support and perpetuity, to care for the new Beirut Memorial Grove, now under construction across from Camp Geiger. In front of the largest gathering ever, we observe the 30th anniversary of the Beirut bomb blast in October. In March, we'll gather with the Vietnam Veterans Foundation to mark the completion of the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. Many of you gave your opinion three years ago about how the Freedom Fountain should look. This magnificent fountain is dedicated to all who have come through Onslow County in service to our nation and serves as the continuation of the Lejeune Memorial Gardens. It's already become a landmark and we want to thank the county and the many donors who helped make this possible. The county helped with another place we want visitors to come. Construction is underway at Jacksonville Landing. This is a great example of cooperation as it is a cooperative venture with the North Carolina Wildlife Commission, Onslow County, North Carolina Department of Transportation, and the city. Jacksonville Landing provides a way to launch boats easier than before and it will show off our river, allow redevelopment across the river, and be home to fishing tournaments and other water-based activities. Jacksonville Landing can be another site where events are held to help tourism and diversify our economy. The city values festivals and events as family-friendly activities that build our community and overnight stays in our lodging facilities. These activities celebrate our culture, encourage us to get to know our neighbors better and our fun. We also believe in sport as an economic development activity and are working with others to build on races, runs, and walks that benefit local organizations, but also draw many people from outside the community. We're hopeful the Marine Corps Half Marathon will develop into a major event. An informed citizenry is good. The City Council has acted to put all our advisory committee meetings on TV and on the web. We've operated citizen academies that give behind-the-scenes opportunities to our citizens. Our academies operate each spring and fall, and space is available. 
Youth are important for the city. The Jacksonville Youth Council gives them a chance to practice governance and to perform community service. The Sturgeon City Institutes have now celebrated their 15th year of inspiring young people to know more about their community, explore career opportunities, and expand their knowledge on many subjects. Our recreation program is strong, and the city has made major investments in parks, ball fields, and areas where our citizens can enjoy their city. We're filling in the old lagoons at Northeast Creek Park for new fields. Our ball fields and gym are also a benefit to the development of sport as an economic development activity. The Jacksonville Jamboree, a multi-day, multi-sport recreation league competition, draws many to the community and provides a wonderful spring festival for everyone. Wooten Park was most recently improved and Phillips Park continues development. These investments take resources and the City Council has provided investments in water, sewer, safety, and quality of life to improve our city. The state of the city of Jacksonville is good. Jacksonville continues as a vibrant, young, and livable place that contributes to an improved quality of life for a population that demonstrates we are a caring, active, and welcoming community, as well as the commercial hub of the county. Thank you.